Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's well. Uh, thanks to Rob and the folks at Tonic uh, for inviting me on behalf of KHS uh, Musical Instruments and Walden Guitars to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on um, in Asia um, and internationally from, uh, from as you say, um, our perspective um, as one of the top manufacturers of musical instruments. So now that's 69 percent, let's call it 70 percent, the vast majority of musical instrument products imported into America are from China or other Asian-based manufacturing. And when we talk about acoustic guitars, 71 percent. If we look at the history, um, Taiwan, Korea, Japan have been other uh, manufacturing foundations for acoustic. We can also uh, include electric guitars in there. Uh, but no more. The vast majority of imports um, are from China or Indonesia. So KHS is different than many of the OEM manufacturers, although we do do some OEM, in that we develop, sell, market, build our own brands. Some of these are more well-known globally than others. Uh, Jupiter Band Instruments is in the top three of global brands for uh, band instruments, wind instruments, the others being Con Selmer and Yamaha, of course. We are the only three, to my knowledge, uh, guitar makers that is FSC certified among however number many of, of brands that are out there. There are just three that, uh, that have committed to um, implementing the Forest Stewardship Council uh, method of tracking these responsibly forest uh, forested materials. Uh, Walden Guitars currently is sold in over 70 countries. So that gives you just a general idea of what Walden's all about. My background is just someone who cares. My background as, a, as an American, um, someone who's been involved as an environmentalist since college. You know, this has been pretty important to me. And um, I feel very lucky to have had a role in being able to drive this product, not only in ways that produce what I hope to be decent guitars, um, but also to apply social and environmental responsibility to our action. There are various FSC certification levels, uh, which uh, perhaps will be talked about later, but there's FSC CW, controlled wood. There's FSC mixed source, which is the most common. You often see it on paper and, um, and brochures. I think it's something like 60% FSC pure, 40% controlled wood. There's FSC recycled. And then there's FSC 100%. And what that means is that every piece of wood on the product that you are building needs to be um, sourced from uh, responsibly forested, um, a, res a responsibly forested organization that is FSC certified, tracked through mill and tracked through manufacturing. Every single one of these pieces needs to be tra traceable at least to forest of origin and those origins need to be um, audited every year and certified as responsible. Uh, FSC really doesn't guarantee legal origins and the laws that are in effect in America, Lacey, uh, the laws that uh, will go into effect uh, in the next couple of years in EU, the, the logging regulations, and there's another illegal logging act in the Australian uh, Senate currently, all talk about legality, not responsibility. You know, if it's legal to clear cut, cut a forest, fine, go ahead and clear cut the forest. FSC is we want you to be legal, we want you to be socially responsible, but we're interested in making sure that this forest is still around and responsibly harvested. Artists can help a lot. There are a number of artists out there that are very vocal. You know, Bono, The Edge, Dave Matthews, uh, Cheryl Crow, uh, Bonnie Raitt, and I'm sure you have local artists for whom this is a big deal. Well, we should invite them to be part of this, this, this movement because otherwise the consumers will not care.